Basically, on this side of the valley, we've cleared a huge piece of landscape away. Uh, the archaeologists are now carrying out extensive dig because basically after the geophysical survey, the trial trenching has shown us there's something here. So what the archaeologists do then is to cut sections and samples through those ditches to provide us with the, the dating evidence that is hopefully sealed away in those uh, soil deposits. Well, it looks like the site is split into three separate areas. Over the far side we have a roundhouse that's enclosed within an enclosure and then you come into the central piece which is a number of enclosure ditches that look like it's pastoral land for farming, potentially sheep moving on to cows where the enclosures get bigger and then you've got the third enclosure which looks like it's containing some sort of grain production. I think we're looking at, uh, at, you know, the sort of everyday story of an everyday country folk here. We're looking at a village life. Certainly the information I'm getting back um, from our pottery specialist who is who's producing spot dates, so they're, they're snapshots based on a few sherds um, from each context, is very much that we're, we're in the later prehistoric period into the early Roman um, in the sites four and five. Um, so we are essentially talking the Iron Age and that's then moving into the early Roman period. When we bear in mind that Hinkley Point Nuclear Power Station is the largest construction infrastructure project in Europe, it ob obviously unprecedented opportunities to actually have a look at a large scale landscape. In this case, we're in an area where little was known about the archaeology. But what we've shown with this project is actually this landscape in the past was just as populous as anywhere else in the county. But as far as we were concerned two years ago, we were all finished on site and all the archaeology was dealt with. So it was just by sheer stroke of luck that Kia Bam put their hall road right through the centre of the cemetery site. It could have been one or two burials, but as it's transpired, we've moved, as we've exposed the area, we now have over a hundred burials. And what's really fascinating is that they actually fill in one of the poorest periods for the archeology span of the Britain. That is the enigmatic, shadowy period between the end of the Roman Empire and the beginning of the Middle Ages. So to find actually a post-Roman cemetery dating properly to the fifth 6th and 7th centuries AD is a discovery of national importance. This is essentially a plan of the site as it stands. So we've got all the graves sort of centrally around this large spread and this here is our sort of ritual feasting area. All the remains have to come out of the ground because this is going to be a building site. And you have to show respect because these are the physical remains of individuals like you and me who have died in the past. And we need to respect that, we need to lift them carefully, with a degree of reverence to be frank, and make sure they're properly treated afterwards. And that's why every trace of human remains needs to come out of this site before the construction work continues. I mean, what this site provides is an insight into a period in Western Britain after the end of the Roman period, but before the Anglo-Saxons came. This is the Britons, this is the indigenous Britons adopting a way of life at a period when further east, Anglo-Saxon kingdoms were developing. So it does provide a window or an insight into a unique culture, the Western British culture, before the advent of Anglo-Saxon and the birth of England. Projects the size and scale of Hinkley Point don't come along very often, but when they do, as archaeologists, we have the chance to look at that whole landscape, and we've managed to look at everything from field patterns right the way through to the 19th century, and then way, way back into understanding the prehistoric landscape. So it's really looking at a big chunk of Somerset on the landscape scale that makes this an extremely important project.